what's happening my people so it's your boy smooth y'all know i do this youtube thing i talk about a little bit of everything I do sneakers and music reviews and blase 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 i wasn't really going to do this i was on the fence about doing this this series of, of just watching this series i was like man they got so much tragedy on film and in real life and stuff i'm like I really don't want to go to this place in my mind. I don't want to watch any black tragedy or anything like that. I really didn't want to go into that mind frame and feel what I felt I probably was going to feel from this series. And something would tell, I was like, I was like, man, do I want to watch this? I don't want to watch this. I watched the trailer a few times and I'm like, I guess I'm going to put it on. Like didn't really have too much to watch. So I put it on, man. I'm like, first episode, I'm, I'm like, mm -mm. but it is interesting. It's interesting in the fact that you want to know what happens, man. You're like, I don't know where this going. Where's this going? It is a weird series. I honestly, I would tell you not to watch it. <laughs> if you, if you black, if you black and stuff, I honestly would tell you not to watch it, man. To avoid the feelings and emotions that this will uh, will concur, or uh, I guess that's is that the right word? But dog, just like uh things like uh for colored girls, or uh the the show about the Central Park Five, this this was us, this was us, uh things like that, like this is in that vein, the. The cinematography, the storyline and stuff, it's kind of like, it's similar to like a Us and a, uh, it's similar to an Us and a, a Lovecraft Country. Like it's in that vein of mystical kind of horror, uh, things in the past, like a, a, a past kind of show. It's taking place, like I would say, like uh, 1940s, early 1950s, like around that time. It's detailing a family. So it says like uh, this was uh, an occurrence, something that occurred, and it's play taking place in 10 days. So, but it is a family. They are coming from like, I want to say North Carolina, and they're moving to Compton. And this is before like Compton was all... Niggas and Kendrick Lamar and them. This is when Compton was was the old white folks and it was a, a sun sunrise and every a good great neighborhood and so so say no black people. And when black people move into the neighborhood, it's like the stereotypes of uh the property value was going down and oh no they're gonna take over and oh we need a sale or we need to run them out of town. This is what's going on in this series so we just see people just like <gasps> gathering they gathering in the road just looking at the people playing the radio just doing all kind of dirty things trying to get them out of the neighborhood but everybody has their own demons in this series as well it's it's crazy because like it's like the white people are like just so afraid of change and they have like an evilness in them. But then it's like the way they paint the black people are like the black people fucked up as well, man. Like they got a lot of bullshit with them, with them too. Like because it's like they, they, they got their own demons. It's like uh, the mama. It's like in, in, she, she has some, some demons, but it's like I would say like postpartum kind of disorder or the pain of losing a child because they show that as well the daddy i would say his uh his stuff is the effects of like he was in the war so he had a, a lot of trauma from that trauma of thinking he's cooning because of uh, like white people hold something over his head like not being able to protect his family and stuff like he has the pain and stuff from that i say the young girl she has 
the demons of like uh self hatred. Uh, I think think that's what it is. The little girl, the little girl. I guess you would you would say maybe like peer pressure or something of that nature. Like she, but it's like physical manifestations of of trauma. I would guess, but then it's like demons. Like you get into the series and you, like you get into episode five, and we finally see what happens with the child. Like at the beginning, they show a little bit, but we actually see what happens to the child, man. And we see people, they run up in in the crib and stuff. They hem old girl up. They rape her. They have this baby, this little black baby. In cat in the bag, cat in the bags. So, I, I, I'm not going to go into detail. Like, you can watch it if you want, but it's cat in the bag, cat in the bag. And they do some dirty, vile shit. Dirty, vile, trifling. Like, I, phys I physically cried. I physically had, I had to shed some tears on that. It, that was just so dirty. Just, Lord have mercy. I'm like, what have I got myself into watching this? I'm like, man, the emotions, this, this is not good. <laughs> what, what this is doing to me. This this is just not good. But as crazy as the show goes on and stuff, I want to say, like, what episode? Maybe, like, episode 8 and stuff. Maybe episode 8 or 9 or whatever. They find... You see she has something in the, in the beginning of the series. And it looked like a blanket or something. And so she looks at it when they move into the house and she puts it way in the basement. Uh, It turns out they, they open this later on in the series and they see what it is. It's... It's the baby. It's the actual baby. And so you like, wait up. So, because everything is not, it's not in plain sight, man. You like, is things really happening? Or is things happening in people's mind? People are going crazy. It's like, oh, so, it's like, did she kill the baby? Did she, was she having visions? And she actually did it? Because they have these this demon or something. I want to say his name is Epps. And he's like a manifestation and stuff. And like he's controlling people. And they have other people like move into neighborhoods. And it's like all of them seem to go crazy. It's like these white people. Uh, It's like the white people want them to get out and they do things to them. But then it's like, man, all the black people are bashing crazy. So it's like all the, all the, all the white people driving them crazy. Or man, it's just like. Is is so weird, but then we we get into to Epps, like he has a story on here, episode nine, and episode nine shows him, and like he's a prophet, and he has visions and this and that. He talks to God. He lost his family, kind of like like Abraham in the Bible or whatever, and so he talks talks to the um uh, talks to God and this and that. He they're having a drought, so this black family ends up stuck and they go save the black family and they they take them in for refuge and they feed them and this and that uh but then it, it ends up like we are a perfect community we don't judge and this and that but they're just like everybody else man they are fearful judgmental and just excuses of just like how people do nowadays of the Bible, hold the Bible and stuff, but do the most wretched things onto people. Like the Bible is telling them to to do things to these black people and stuff. These black people are demons and etc. Uh so long story short, they end up blinding these people, they end up killing them and stuff. But on doing that, it's like they are sealed their own deaths like. A lot of people in biblical terms and stuff, or just in we say, we say that that a lot of black people are we with the chosen people or whatever. It's not like I'm saying that like because people that have been through so many things is like the meek shall inherit the earth, and black people have been <laughs> we've been wrong. So it's like the black people, it's like the chosen people, and so whenever they do these black people wrong, they man they they blind these people. They hang them upside down. They burn them. Then everything starts setting on fire. All these people all die because of their own hatred. But then Epps, he's seeing these visions and stuff. And uh, I'm like, okay, so he thinks he's talking to God and this and that. 
So he makes this covenant in, in this, this basement. And it's like, you must spread hatred. You must break these black people from the inside. You must cause trauma to them, make them kill each other up and stuff. It's kind of like the world now and stuff, like cause trauma onto the black people and like, uh, in the eighties with, with the drug trades and, and, uh, just past Jim Crow and just a lot of bad things that black people have had to go through, uh, in throughout history. So it's like, you must do this upon these black people for you to defeat death, for you to have long lasting life and this and that for the white man and this and that. So that is his mission. So it seems this demon like has been been haunting these black people in doing things onto them to make them do bad things upon each other. So man, this black woman, like we, we take off when they found the baby and stuff. Like people think that she killed her baby. It turns she didn't kill this baby. Like it, it really happened. Like these people raped her and killed her baby and this and that. So she's in the nut house. Long story short, man, she get up out of the nut house and like her her the the daddy, like these people finally get the nuts about him. And I didn't even talk about the white neighbor lady. Like she's just the worst of all. But she gets her just do like a lot of bullshit happens to her as well. But you can watch. But man, these people finally get the nuts to run up on these black people. Yeah, the, the woman is in a nut house, but they hem the daddy up. Like, they'd be scared of the daddy. They're like, uh, we hear them apes have the strength of King Kong. <laughs> so they didn't want to fuck with him because, like, that nigga was going to fuck him up. You know, one on one situation, he was going to bust their motherfucking ass. But they, they finally jump him and they do him dirty. Uh, got the little girls hemmed up and stuff. They get a little bit of retribution, a little bit of retribution, man. Like, we, we get into that. But the woman, she breaks out of the nut house. She goes. It's like at the end they are they are defeating their demons, man. Like the things that the innermost things that they have been battling, that's been trying to tear them from the inside out. They finally started start to defeat these demons. Like in the 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 mama has been crazy and like she's kind of defeats her demons and she goes. She kind of like saves, start saving the family and stuff. But then they got outside things that's going on, like the whole neighborhood against them, they got things burning, uh, it's crazy, and the way this ends, it's like, I really don't want to read to see if this is like a true story, I know it's not like true, but I'm thinking like, the, the main story of these people moving in, and these people all doing all these things to them and maybe killing them is that a true story but i really don't want to read up and find out if it is true or not because the ending they leave the the ending open so it's like what happened and i kind of don't want to know but the scenes with the baby and with the mama and stuff that broke me down that broke me down dog like i'm i was shaking literally shaking with my fist ball i was kind of like the brother in the series like times when he was frustrated and he was like with the people at his job would fuck with him and shit like uh just taunting him about you need us and stuff and and you were underneath us and, and he couldn't do anything like i was shaking like that and then it in episode nine like i that's i remember the, the episodes episode five and episode nine Episode 9, whenever they killed these black people, these black people came to save, like just, they were stuck out in the desert and stuff. And these people brought them in just to do them dirty. Like made these people work, these people found water. Like they was they was looking for water and stuff, the black people, the black man like, I, I think this well does have water. I'll go dig it up for y'all. He digs, found water. And the people get mad, they like, that's black magic, that nigger. We been we been out after water forever. If these niggas come and and he found it, like this man, this man is walking and he loses his cross. He loses his cross and he's like, "Uh, Miles, 
Miles, do you have do you uh, wear my cross and stuff? This black woman, she like, here, sir. Here, sir, I found it here, here for you. And he starts looking at it and sees a demon. He starts looking at this woman and sees a demon, dog, and grabs her and twists her arm up. Her water breaks. He's like, you are, you are a demon, you a devil. And she like, you promised us you was gonna fix fix our stuff for us to go. And you didn't keep your word. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Or, or she say something. She say some kind of word. And he's like, you try to spite me and this and that. Oh, but they take these people and they, they have them like a, 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 a courtroom setting. But when they, they, they burn, they burn the tips of these things, dog, and burn these people. Burn these people's eyes out. And he's like, a curse on put on you and stuff, but the woman flip it. She like, y'all dirty. Y'all talk about y'all guys, people and stuff. A curse on y'all. A curse on y'all. And then they, man, they burn these black people and they hang them upside down. Dog. That is, that is some images. It is just movies and stuff. But if you you are familiar or if you the knowledge of things they did to slaves and stuff, like this not slavery, but things that they did to people, they skipped people alive, they hung people, they raped people, they made people inbreed, they did a lot. The slave trade, things that they did are ten times worse than you would think that they did. They say ignorance is bliss. In some terms, it is. Because when you, if you, really, the shit they taught us in school, uh-uh. You look into what they really did to people. Dog, it is. But this series, right, this series right here, it was, it was interesting. It grasped me. Like the acting on here, the, the wife, the daddy. The, them two little girls, they shine. They shine. They did their thing. They did their thing for real. But man, just the imagery in Lena Waithe and stuff, like Lena Waithe, she had something to do with Queen and Slim and stuff. Like, bitch, can you have a, a happy ending for, for us niggas or something? God damn. Like, man, can, can, we get, can we get off trauma viewing? Like, fuck. Man, all the bad shit that we, we got to live through and shit that happened historically to us and stuff, man, can we have a positive story for, for a change? God damn. This right here was so traumatic. This, this fucked me up. This fucked me up for like, I, I, I think about a week or something. <laughs> like, I gotta get this out of my head, man. I just want, I'm gonna watch like Tom and Jerry or something that I need to watch me some cartoons I wish they had Voltron or Transformers or some shit I could watch. I got to get this shit out of my mind. This shit fucked me up. Like, the acting and stuff, the story, like, it transfixes you. Like, you want to know what happens in that terms. It is a good series. But the, the after-lasting effects, the trauma and shit, this is... I would, I would not suggest you watch this. I don't know what rating to give it. I don't know whether to give it a positive grade or a negative grade. Because it has positives as far as watching it and grasping it and acting. But the the trauma and shit, this is I'm not I'm not I can't give it a number value. I can't give it a number value. Watch it. They should have disclaimers. They do have kind of disclaimers like towards the end. But like it might have been it wasn't on every episode. I don't know. I know it's towards the end. But like uh you watch this at your own uh, p p peril. But, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. That's my thoughts on it, man. This fucked me up. But, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest and most hated man. I just had to talk about this. I wasn't going to, but I'm like, I started this last night. And I, have from last night to, like, it's, all, it's like 5.15. From last night to 5.15, I've been watching this motherfucking series. So I'm like. I'm going to talk to my subscribers about it, man. Like, if y'all watch it and y'all just need it, like, somebody to talk to about it, and, like, y'all know y'all can highlight at me or whatever, like, just want to, 
I don't know. But uh man, y'all y'all leave y'all thoughts in the comment section, man. What y'all thought if y'all watch this long ass video. But uh yeah. Peace.